Hi, don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification button so whenever I upload motivational content, you will be informed. Hello, I am Afro Lancelot Banson and this is Words of Wisdom. Thank you for joining us. And in this episode, as part of our series on the psychology of achievement, we are discussing Belief System Part 2. Belief System Part 2. And we are looking at replacing limiting beliefs. So far in this series, we discovered that if we are not able to think like successful people, we cannot be successful people. Life is not about wishful thinking, but it's about intentional thinking and intentional action. So we discovered that you need to ask yourself critical questions about life, about success, and about what you want out of life. Then we looked at self-esteem, the bedrock of achievement. Then self-image, the picture you have of yourself. And we looked at thought pattern. How we think, our chronic way of thinking determines how we excel in life or how we do in life. The last, the last episode we looked at belief system and how beliefs are generated. And we learned that beliefs are just one idea supported by multiple other ideas. And the more supporting ideas you have for that one idea, the stronger your belief is. So your belief system are all the various beliefs you have about yourself, about life, about success, and so on and so forth. About how the world ought to respond and react to what is happening. In this episode, we are looking at replacing limiting beliefs. So what is a limiting belief? A limiting belief is simply a belief that limits us from doing what we are truly capable of doing. Any belief that limits you from doing what you are truly capable of doing is a limiting belief. And these can be past experiences, these can be from people's words, these can be from society's expectations of you, these can be a terrible or bad knowledge you've acquired. All of these are avenues through which you can get limiting beliefs. So a limiting belief is any belief that limits you from excelling. Then we have empowering beliefs, a belief that empowers you to excel. Now, coming back to limiting beliefs, sometimes someone might exhibit limiting belief and people might see that this person is so helpful so serviceable, so kind, always wants others to move forward. Someone can have a limiting belief and that belief tells them that I can never succeed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to help others succeed. They don't expect much of themselves. They don't expect anything from themselves. They don't expect to achieve anything in life because they look down upon themselves. They believe others deserve success and not them. They believe others have what it takes to succeed and not them. So they rather put their energies to helping others succeed, but they will never lift a finger to move their own life forward. Some of them live in abject poverty, but they, they have helped so many people become rich. Some of them have uh, lived in need, in lack, in want, are not making anything in life, but they are connecting people to the top. These people have a limiting belief. And that limiting belief says that I cannot succeed, but I can help others succeed. Listeners, if you have the power to help others succeed, then you also have the power to help yourself succeed. So don't let limiting beliefs tell you that you cannot succeed and so you should help others succeed. You can also succeed. If you can help others succeed, then you too can succeed. Another way limiting belief manifests itself is that it sabotages the efforts of others. People try to succeed and you sabotage them. Because in your mind, the sentence is just one. If I cannot succeed, then no one can succeed. 
If I am not going to make it to the top, then no one is going to make it to the top. So this are some of the ways limiting beliefs manifest themselves. So how do we replace limiting beliefs? We replace them with empowering beliefs. Remember, when you have a limiting belief, it means you have an idea. Maybe, I am not handsome. I am not handsome. And then you have supporting ideas that support this simple idea. Maybe your parents told you you were not handsome. Your schoolmates told you you were not handsome. Members of the opposite sex don't find you attractive. You ask women out and they turn you down. Or no man is asking you out on a date. So these will be the supporting ideas that you, you have developed to support this main idea that you are not handsome. If you have an idea that I am rich, what are the supporting ideas that support this belief that you are rich? Perhaps you have a large amount of money in your bank account. You have the doodads and the expensive toys rich people have. Perhaps you have a high paying job. Maybe you are financially literate and so on and so forth. So this will be supporting ideas that suggest that you are rich. So how do we replace limiting beliefs? Let's look at some examples of limiting beliefs and how we can replace them with empowering beliefs. Number one, I am not smart enough. That is a limiting belief. I am not smart enough. I am not smart enough. We can replace this with an empowering belief that says, I can learn what I don't know. So, if you have three or four supporting ideas for I am not smart enough because I didn't do well in school, because I had a terrible report card, because my parents told me I was not good, my teachers told me I was not good, I was failing most of my exams, I didn't graduate from school, I, I can hardly read and write. If this is, these are your reasons, then you can replace it with I can learn what I don't know. Because you've learned things you didn't know before. Maybe you're an apprentice. You've learned a skill that you didn't know before. Maybe you can sing. You learned how to sing, but before you didn't know how to sing. There are many things. If you look into your life, you discover many things that you didn't know before that you now know. You didn't know how to operate a smartphone, but now you know how to do it. Remember how hard it was for you to surf the net the first time you went online. But look at it now. You, you do it so easily. Remember how hard it was for you to look for something on YouTube, but now you find it so easy. Remember how hard it was for you to uh, navigate Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but now it's so easy. So you can learn what you don't know. That is the empowering belief. You need to replace this belief that says you are not smart enough with a belief that says you can learn what you don't know. Number two, I will never succeed because I am black. I will never succeed because I'm black. That is a limiting belief that a lot of black people have. You can replace this belief with an empowering belief that because I am black, I have the strength to accomplish whatever I want because black is a strong color. I have the strength to accomplish whatever I want because black is a strong color. And you can look at the various things you have accomplished in life, the small, small things that you were able to do like getting the girl to go out with you on a date, like securing your first job, like passing your exams, or passing the test, like saving money to buy something that you wanted. So all these are examples that you can actually succeed even though you are black. Let's look at the third belief system. No one likes me. This is the belief that common people have. No one likes me. What are the empowering beliefs that we can use to replace this? I can make people like me by being nice to them, by being kind, by giving to them, by being friendly, by developing a likable personality, by not being shy, by not being rude. You can really get people to like you if you really want. If you are the kind who says no one likes me, make it your goal that in this week you will get at least two people to like you by being kind by being nice, by developing a nice personality, by not being rude, being polite, and sharing what you have. When you are this kind of person, 
Everyone wants to be your friend. We all like nice people. We all like those who are kind. We all like people who are not shy and like to talk and converse. Let me give you one secret. One of the ways to get people to like you is to ask them questions about themselves and let them talk about themselves and enjoy talking about themselves and take interest as they talk about themselves. People will like you for that. I come from a poor background. If that is your limiting belief, you can replace it with the empowering belief that says, I always find solutions to my problems and challenges. Look back on your life and look at all the problems and challenges that you thought at the time you could not come out of. Now you've been able to come out of these problems and challenges. So you are the kind of person who can really find solutions to your problems if you are committed. So have this empowering belief that I always find solutions to my problems and challenges. Finally, I have too many challenges. Some people will say, I have all these challenges. I don't know how to overcome them. I have too many challenges. The empowering belief is no matter the difficulty, I always and always overcome. No matter the difficulty, I always and always overcome. Remember the time when you had no money. Remember the time when you had no job. Remember the time when you had no place to lay your head. Remember the time when you were not married. Remember the time when you didn't know whether there was hope for your life. But in spite of all these difficult challenges, you came out of it. You have the power to move on and take your life further. All you need to do is replace your empowering, your disempowering belief or limiting beliefs with empowering beliefs. So how do we replace our beliefs that are limiting with beliefs that are empowering? We are going to use what I call the para concept, something I picked up from Tony Robbins, one of my mentors. The para principle just comes from the letters P A R A. P for potential, A for action, R for results, A for attitude. So, what happens is that you recognize number one. Or P, you recognize that you have the potential to do whatever you want to do. Anything you want to accomplish in life, within reason, you have the potential to do. You have the potential for it. You have the potential to accomplish anything that you want in life. So, how do we build this potential up? One, or A, imagine yourself doing what you want to do. Let's say your, your desire is to work in a certain company or to start your own business or to marry a certain lady. Imagine doing what you want to do. Spend time imagining yourself doing what you want to do. Every morning and every evening, meditate. And as you do so, repeat the image, repeat the scenes over and over and over and over again. Repeat these scenes over and over and over again. And as you repeat the scenes, attach a very strong emotion to what you are imagining. As you imagine doing what you want to do, attach very strong emotions to it. And say good things about yourself and what you're about to do. Say good things about yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Say good things, positive affirmations about yourself and what you are attempting to do. And I'm going to upload after this series, I'm going to upload my own positive affirmations that I have so that you can also download it and then listen to it and say it to yourself. So P, potential. Recognize that you have the potential to do what you want to do. A is for action. Take action. Do something small to begin with. So you, there's something you want to do. You want to start a business. You want to save a thousand Ghana cities in your account. You want to buy a car. You want to ask the lady out. You want to write a book. Anything you want to do. You want to offer a course online. You want to go back to school, to the university and further education. Whatever it is, take action. Start with something small. Don't be afraid. The first step is always the hard one. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. When I got the idea for my magazine, I discussed with a number of people uh, about coming on board and helping with the magazine, and they were all you know, not showing interest. They were not interested in doing this magazine. 
So I decided to do it all by myself. So with the exception of one article, the other articles were written from different points of view by myself. And now that people are seeing the cover of the magazine and they are liking it, they are beginning to show interest. You see, if I had not taken the first step, the magazine would just still be an idea. Now I've completed the first edition, that's for July. I've completed the August edition and I'm now beginning the September edition. And now people are asking to write articles for the August and September edition. And if the articles are good, I'm going to feature them. Start and don't be afraid. So it's possible for you to achieve your dreams. It's possible for you to excel. Nothing can stop you. Start small and don't be afraid. And stay away from negative company so you can focus on what you are doing. Now, the third thing you need to do is see the results that come as results. Don't see the results as success or failure. See them purely as results. If you see it as failure, you'll be discouraged and you wouldn't try again. If you see it as success, you may become complacent. So when the results come and it's not the results you want, see it as unwanted results. If the results come the way you want it, see it as wanted results and move on. But don't see the outcome as success or failure. See it as wanted or unwanted results. And if the result is not the one you want, you ask yourself, what do I do to get the result that I want? And if the results are the ones you want, you ask yourself, what can I do to move forward and get more results? So you have P, potential. A, you take action. R, you see the results and measure it for that, either wanted or unwanted results. And the last one is attitude. You use the results to boost your attitude. Use the results to boost your attitude. And your attitude will open your eyes to see more of your potential. So you can take more action and then you can get more results. And that will also shift your attitude to a new level and you can see more of the things you can do. So you, now you take more action and it just keeps on going around in cycles like that. So once all that is done, you just repeat. You just repeat. You just repeat. Let me close with a few statements and quotes from people about belief. Here's one from Marcus Garvey. If you have no confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won even before you have started. Charles V. Roman Those who believe in ghosts always see them. Suzanne Taylor In every crisis, there is a message. Crises are nature's way of forcing change, breaking down old structures, shaking loose those negative habits so that something new and better can take place. So in this pandemic, this crisis, this pandemic, all structures are being shaken. Negative habits are being destroyed. This is your opportunity to reinvent yourself and move your life forward. Anton Chekhov, man is what he believes. If you believe you can be president, you'll be president. I remember back in the 80s when Oprah Winfrey interviewed Donald Trump, asking him, would he think of running for the president in the future? And he says, well, he hasn't thought of it, but if he ran, he would win. And Oprah Winfrey asked him, are you sure? And he says, well, I don't do anything to lose. I'm not going to run for the presidency so I can lose. I do things to win. And truly, he ran and he won. Here's a quote from Virgil. They can because they think they can. You can achieve success if you think you can achieve success. You can rise to the top if you think you can rise to the top. You can become exceptional if you think you can become exceptional. Brothers and sisters, your beliefs determine your life. Your beliefs determine your life. So if you have been living by limited beliefs, now is the time to replace those limited beliefs with empowering beliefs. 
This has been Afro Lansford Banson saying, God richly bless you and thank you for listening.